Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the podcast. This episode of the Mark Martin's Revolution is brought to you by Vodcast TV, Johannesburg's premier shared podcast studio platform. If you've ever wanted to host a podcast for yourself or your business, there's simply never been a better place to do it than right here. Visit vodcasttv.com forward slash revolution right now. Get yourself a discount on your first order of a podcast or podcast series. I have no guests today. Yes, once again, it's just me, you, and some of my thoughts. A revolution is a fundamental and relatively sudden change in political power. An organization which occurs when the population revolts. The Marco Martins Revolution, powered by Vodcast TV. Visit VodcastTV.com for more. Now, I put out a, a story on my Instagram asking people what you wanted me to talk about. I took probably zero of those suggestions anyway, but I might integrate it a little bit here and there. Um, what I found fascinating thinking about things this week and uh, one of the things i just heard about was this army hammer from the united states this uh this big time celebrity movie star army hammer who who got cancelled recently because of his insane cannibal fetish stuff so army hammer he looks like he was in like really big movies he was with johnny depp in that uh, lone ranger movie and he was in this new Death on the Nile movie, uh, which tanked because of him. And basically what happened is a bunch of girls came forward saying that he like either raped them, some of them, uh, and that he's into like really freaky stuff. So one of the... He, he, he has an Instagram DM from Army Hammer to some girl, and it's under his official Instagram, Army Hammer dm he says oh my god that just made me so hard and it makes me confused as to why is that even possible so hard thinking of holding your heart in my hand controlling when it beats uh i am 100 percent a cannibal i want to eat you fuck that's scary to admit i've never admitted that before i've cut the heart out of a living animal before and eaten it while still warm like can't you just have some like normal fetishes like everyone else? Like what's, what's with the eating, beating hearts out of an animal's chest? Like anyway, I think it's the Hollywood. It's Hollywood and movie stars. That's Hollywood and movie stars. He's just the one that got caught. I think they're all so messed up. He had to like run off now to the Caribbean to go tend bar like he's in the cocktail movie. Not that Tom Cruise doesn't drink adrenochrome baby's blood for him to look so young allegedly i don't want to get into trouble i don't think tom cruise actually has baby's blood and that's not why he looks so young it's because of good diet exercise and scientology that's why tom cruise looks so good tom cruise looks so good we've said this on the podcast before how old is tom cruise tom cruise is so old and he looks so good still something's going on there it can't just be diet and exercise and being in love with Katie Holmes, right? But as for Army Hammer, I think this is the craziest story. It's like, so there's this girl, Courtney Vucekovic, right? Because like Army Hammer's not like a normal guy. He doesn't just want to have sex with hot girls anymore, like everyone else, you know? So she says, he did some things to me that I wasn't comfortable with for God knows what reason. He convinced me that these things were okay and he put me in some dangerous situations where I was not okay. Where he was heavily drinking and I wasn't drinking that way and it scared me. I didn't feel comfortable. She further described Hammer as scary and said, I wasn't safe. A rep for Hammer did not respond but called the DM allegations bullshit. Anyway. That's Omi Hammer. This is Hollywood celebrities. This makes me think of the whole Ellen DeGeneres thing, right? Like a few years ago, uh, I think it was 2020, uh, a bunch of assistants from the Ellen show were saying that Ellen's like not a nice person at all and she treats them all so badly. Let's try to find something on that. And then, of course, now recently that uh, Twitch, the DJ from her show, 
committed suicide, which is awful because they, they look so happy on their Ellen shows. You know, it's like this middle-aged lesbian wearing suits and sneakers, dancing. And I think the biggest thing is just that the show wasn't very good. The Ellen DeGeneres show wasn't very good. It's a bunch of middle-aged American women who are bored with their home sex lives and they travel all the way to California to watch a middle-aged lesbian dancing in sneakers and a suit and interviewing Zac Efron about that time that his pants like semi fell off shooting a movie and how embarrassed he was. It's ridiculous. The Ellen show was not fun and entertaining. Anyone who enjoyed it was wrong too. And uh, you, you were just smiling and happy because they were fake smiling and happy. I can't imagine a more fake smile than the one on Ellen DeGeneres. Just this, oh, I'm so happy. Yay. Everything's so fun and amazing. Smile. Smile. And then everyone behind the scenes like, smile. Because you've got a gun to your back. If you don't smile, we'll kill you. Yeah. I mean, here's an article. In the span of a few months, the sunny reputation of the Ellen DeGeneres show and her Okay, Ellen DeGeneres and her show has taken a nosedive. Despite her be kind mantra, DeGeneres and several senior staffers have been accused by current and former employees of fostering a toxic work environment. In response, DeGeneres has apologized to her staff and three top producers have parted ways with the show. Meanwhile, several fellow celebrities have weighed in on the controversy, on the controversy rather, uh, whether they're criticizing her or defending her. For a detailed breakdown, here is a timeline of allegations. This is entertainmentweekly.com. Okay, so the crack started to appear in her public persona in spring 2020 during the early days of the coronavirus, coronavirus epidemic. Uh, March 20, Twitter users alleged bad experiences with the generous comedian Kevin T. Porter got the ball rolling with a viral tweet that got 70,000 likes saying that Ellen is the worst person in the world. What, 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 let's see. Let's see. Someone said on Twitter while working for DeGeneres, she was told to never look her in the eyes. <laughs> Every day DeGeneres picks someone different to really hate. One person even alleged that DeGeneres tried to get her fired for wearing tripped, chipped nail polish while serving her food. I mean, at, you want to work on a California TV show. And you're like, oh, I want to work on the Ellen show. It's so fun. Everyone's so sweet and nice. Like, what do you expect? Like, why be a celebrity if you can't just fire people for having chipped nail polish? Like, don't look at me. I'm Ellen, bitch. Right? Don't, don't look me in the eyes. If I ever get this famous, I'll be worse. I'll be so much worse. No one was happy on that show. Twitch is a good marker for that. We we're all so shocked. It's like, oh, he seemed so happy and he had this wonderful family. And like, look how happy he was on the show. Always smiling and dancing and playing cool music. No one's happy on that show. No one's happy on that show. It's the most fake, happy nonsense you've ever seen in your life. And this is toxic Hollywood. This is them. This is this fake. I mean, the only way. Let's put it this way. Hollywood is the most anti-gun movement in the United States. California has the, the biggest like movement against guns. Like, let's no, no more guns, guys. We can't have guns. People can't have guns. We're sick of school shootings. But meanwhile, they perpetuate the cycle of guns with their entertainment. They make a million and one movies about guns and killing a bunch of people and everything's okay all the time. They glamorize guns all the time but nobody should own a gun. The hypocrisy is clear. I think it's the only time that they okay with guns is if you're shooting political rivals to Hillary Clinton. Uh, I shouldn't be laughing at that shame. Someone died. But it is terrible. But guns are okay. As long as someone said something bad about Hillary Clinton, you can shoot them. Then it's fine. Terrible. Anyway. Um, like I said, I put out something on social media to ask people what I should talk about and what my views are. One of them was Woolies bags. I think that's a, that's a big freaking scandal, right? Like you have to buy these exorbitantly expensive bags and then you're always going to forget them. 
You're always going to forget them. And then you're at Woolies, are you going to buy more bags? No, you can't buy more Woolies bags. You already have 40 of them in a drawer at home. You're just accumulating more and more bags. So one day you go shopping at Woolies, you're like, I can carry this. And then you're the idiot on CCTV carrying far too much in their hands. Leaning back. Trying to carry stuff all over you. It's just falling all over the place. Because you forgot to bring Willie's bags. Anyway. Zoom's firing a bunch of staff. Have you seen this? Zoom cuts 15% of its staff in a post-pandemic reset. This is an article from BBC News. Zoom, the video conferencing company that became a household name when remote working spiked during the COVID-19 pandemic, is laying off 1,300 staff. That's 1,300 people. I probably shouldn't be joking about this. This is people's employment. But I think we're also glad to see the end of Zoom. We want to see the back of Zoom. We want to see the back of Microsoft Teams. We're tired. We're tired of that nonsense. I know everyone wants this hybrid work from work model, right? So you can work from home a little bit. So Teams and Zoom still going to be necessity for that, I suppose. But fuck, I think we're so tired of it. We're so tired of... And how have people not learned how to use this properly by now, right? We saw all those videos come out during the pandemic of like some guy who thinks his camera's off and his mic's on mute and he's not and he's doing something outrageous there at home and he's not wearing pants or something. And everyone's trying to trying to signal to them, but they, they, they don't care. They're not listening. I'm listening to everyone who's seeing them do something crazy at home with their camera on. You should just all go back to the office. Like I'm hating the traffic now that everything's back to normal almost. But we should all just go back to the office. You know, work. We must work. Just don't work for Ellen. Just don't work for Ellen. Or Army Hammer. Don't be Army Hammer's girlfriend either. I think that's <laughs> that's the craziest story. Like, why not just get into normal kinky stuff that everyone else is into, right? You have to eat people. Just eat ass like everyone else now. That's what everyone's doing now. It's 2023. It's everyone's vibe. Anyway, I don't even know how long I've been speaking for. But this has been an episode of the Mark and Martin's Revolution. If you do want to host a podcast that looks like this one, I hope your content's a bit different. Uh, visit vodcasttv.com forward slash revolution now to get yourself a discount to your first order of a podcast or podcast series. For me, for now, it's goodbye.